Hello, travel friends. Welcome back. In this episode, we will be talking about our recommendations for souvenirs when you go to Paris, France. All right. So we have the top 10 souvenirs that we recommend getting. Number one, top of the list is going to be designer purses. Wait, wait, we're not like people who just like love spending tons and tons of money on super, super expensive stuff. Hear her out first and then I will follow up with the economic comments regarding these. <laughs> yeah, so this was the first time that I have purchased a designer purse for myself. After doing some research, I honestly didn't even think I was gonna get one. The benefits of it is if you're going to get a designer purse, you might as well get it where they're made. Paris is known for some of the top designers. The other cool thing is not all of these purses or wallets, belts, anything that you'll get designer wise, but specifically purses, not all of these purses are distributed outside of France. So you might actually get more or less a limited edition. Uh, so it might be a more unique purse that not everyone will have. For those who are financial minded, you know, if you go over there on your trip and you buy maybe a, like a more limited edition purse, uh, you're not paying taxes. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe you'll get a beneficial uh, conversion rate. And then when you bring it over here, some of those purses turn out to be really, really good investments. The resale value really, really holds. Jumping forward to our second tip, this is probably going to be the most economical item that we recommend as a souvenir, and that's going to be soap. There are a number of brands of soap, but what's really unique are the scents of soap. And again, how f affordable it is. A bar of soap can be anywhere from one to three euros. You can get specific groups. You can pick them out according to who you might be purchasing it for. These bars of soap are great not only for a gift, like a hostess gift or a housewarming gift, but you can also use them yourself if they smell really great. You can pop them in your drawers and they keep your clothes smelling nice. So there's a lot of uses for these soaps. One of the easiest things to buy and gift for people back home. It's like a few euros per bar. <laughs> they're also pretty easy to transport. They don't take a lot of space yeah, yeah, right, right, right. and they're not too heavy. Yep. Our next one, Barb, you can talk to them about would be perfumes. So Ooh. perfumes are definitely a great souvenir, most likely for yourself, unless you have a friend or family member that's like, oh, I want this specific perfume. The cool thing that you can do with perfumes in Paris is you can make a custom perfume. So you can go to a perfumery and they walk you through what different scents are and help you customize your own scent. So then you can come home with, I mean, most of these perfumes are in gorgeous bottles that once they're empty, you can keep. Mm -hmm. um, but then when people smell you, you can be like, oh, this is the custom bab scent that I made in Paris, uh, which is really cool and unique. Uh, the bottles are nice. Jimmy has a lot of thoughts on perfume. <laughs> yeah, the, <laughs> the bottles are, yeah, the bottles are just really, really, really nice. Yeah. So that's all I gotta say, next. Okay, so our next thing would be antiques. You know, I think this probably requires a bit of hunting mm -hmm. and a bit of like, you know, walking around a lot, uh, mm -hmm. store shopping, window shopping. There are also like antique markets that you can go to, but I think just finding some, you know, maybe a small knickknack or something really, really unique uh, is, is just like such a memorable thing, especially if that unique thing is something that you see, you know, every day or you use every day. Mm. Um, it's great. Yeah, we got an antique candlestick holder and it brings us joy every day. Yep. Our next souvenir is going to kind of be a group of souvenirs that you can get at a specific place, and that's gonna be the pharmacy. French pharmacies are nothing like American pharmacies. They do have medicine, but really they're known for skincare and beauty. I went in and it was amazing. She had, um, she had a really good time. Very good time, can't wait to go back, to be honest. And so these are great souvenirs, not only for yourself, but also for friends and family. Mm. So the beauticians there, They'll look at your skin, they'll ask what you're looking for, whether it's wrinkles, puffy eyes, lip, face mask, night lotion, anything. And they will go through and kind of build a regimen. And then you can tell them maybe if you want to get something for your grandma or your mom. I have three comments. 
One would be, I would say, French quality beauty care for cheaper than what you would get them at in the U.S. Mm -hmm. Two would be make sure you figure out how you're going to transport them mm -hmm. home. And then three is uh, limited selection for men. Yeah, I think it's like mostly you know some lotions for men and then like beard care mm -hmm. stuff. So yeah. if you can get these items at a pharmacy, do because when you look at duty free. You should know your prices because duty-free is definitely more expensive than getting it directly at the pharmacy. We, we, we checked for yeah. you. You're welcome. We did. <laughs> All right. So our next souvenir, I'm going to turn it over to Jimmy because this is something that he really likes, and that's going to be scarves. Scarves. I do like scarves. They're fashionable. They're functional. You can get them in like various thicknesses. Fashionable, practical. They're great. That's, yeah. that's all i got to say. All right. Our next souvenir is something that's easily transported, delicious, and everyone will thank you. And that is going to be the chocolates and sweets. There are a lot of chocolate master shops or chocolate tiers. They put a lot of effort and passion into making unique chocolates. I say this as a person who was not really into chocolates. You know, every time I eat chocolates, they're the cheaper, you know, more affordable, less interesting quality. When you go over there, you can buy really good chocolate. You might be spending a little bit more than what you're used to spending, but you get a really, I guess a really unique, magical experience. Yeah, and not just chocolate. There's candies, you can also do macaroons. There are a lot of different sweets that travel well yeah. and are, are really great as little souvenir gifts. Mm -hmm. So our eighth tip of souvenirs uh, is actually going to be clothing. This is across the board. It's affordable clothing, it's thrift shopping, vintage, and designer clothing. If you're gonna go the designer route, think of one or two classic pieces that are really worth investing in that you should get in Paris. Sometimes that's a coat, maybe it's a dress. The other thing is if you do have that extra time, definitely go thrift shopping. There are really cool thrift and vintage stores they have all different types of things at all different price points. So that's also something that's really fun, especially, you know, we saw vintage bowls, jerseys, and fun things that you wouldn't expect to see in France that people love over here, or like little kids' clothes, anything that's just really unique. It's, again, it's great for you to get a wearable souvenir, but also a wearable souvenir for friends or family. I have nothing to add to that. Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna talk about and recommend is kitchenware. Paris, food. Buy something over there that you can use to make food. It's awesome. We enjoy cooking a lot, so buying something in Paris, which is the pinnacles of like cookery and, and food and cuisine, and bringing it home, and it's something that you can use on a regular daily basis, you know, like a, a nice fork or a spoon or a spatula or, or you know, just something something small, uh, something small and affordable that you can use and remind you of the good times in Paris. I think it's it's great and it doesn't have to be expensive, right? Just get mm -hmm. a, a wooden spatula that basically any any cook uses. Again, great housewarming gift. This is from Paris. Anything like that is always a win to bring back. Our last Souvenir tip is something that, again, Jimmy is very passionate about and very good at finding, and that is going to be art. There are stalls along the Seine that you can buy vintage posters or prints from. Mm -hmm. And then if you do a little bit more hunting, you can you know, find some art shops. There's an artist square in Montmartre that you can go and visit if you're you know, really looking for an art piece. It's something that we do wherever we go but I think in Paris to find something that like captures the essence of Paris mm -hmm. is, is really cool because obviously the, we love the essence of Paris. <laughs> we love we Paris. We be. <laughs> so, so finding an art piece there is, is, is great. All right, well those are our top 10 souvenirs. Um, if we missed anything, please let us know in the comments. We'll have to go back and get it. Uh, but if you like this video, feel free to like and subscribe and happy travels. Bye.